and ancestors instead of family members. And there's that guy who was always late. What if they mistook it for an enemy ship and just shot it down? <laughs> and here's some sequel bait. But thanks to the kick, the connect. Nope. No sequel for you. Overall, one of my favorite games of all time. An underrated gem, which was gonna get a sequel, but because of the fucking connect, the sequel was basically put in hold for for permanent hold. I'm sure someday it may come out. One can hope and pray. I mean, they thought Beyond Good and Evil would never get a sequel. And considering this game originally started out as a GameCube game, it probably would have been awesome on the GameCube. But it probably would have been very obscure. And considering they had to move to the, from the GameCube to the original Xbox to 360, I say they did a good job. And yes, a lot of the controls could have been fixed and controls were underutilized, but they could have done that, fixed that in the sequel. <sighs> I guess I will be showing up all the skins and the extra content. I just have to go through the extra levels and get the bonus points to unlock everything to show it off. And then after that, we'll be doing Pentadragoon Orta, but I'm going to do it on an easy mode. And after that, Breakdown, once I beat it again. Then after that, I think Munch is Odyssey, once I get it from my mom's house. Yeah, it's an awesome game. So much potential. But the Kinect had to ruin it. And from the footage I've seen, a few seconds looks so phenomenal. Looks like they improved on it by a billion fold. And I guess they were going, well, they said they were going for a more realistic art design and some, some pictures of Cameo 2. But, you know, in the actual gameplay footage, it looks the same, except she's wearing a red cloak. Huh. Great game. Could have been so much better, but everything can be so much better. Perhaps someday they will make Cameo 2 for the Xbox One. With my luck, they'll make it for, me for the PS4, but considering this is an Xbox exclusive, that wouldn't make any sense. That wouldn't make any sense. And there's Deep Blue. Yes, he was kind of hard to control underwater. That could have fixed it all. I mean, if you look at the footage for the sequel. It does look like Assassin's Creed. <laughs> it's way more action-packed. And that thing she does with the ladder, where she jumps through it and switches sides. I'm like, that's awesome. No game's ever done that. And the upskirting was kind of creepy, considering I guess she's underage. Unless you're into that kind of stuff, if you're the entire continent of Japan. Not continent, island! There we go. Levels did feel kind of small to me, because they were originally GameCube levels, then Xbox One, as in original levels. And I may decide to show off... Uh... Nah, I was gonna show off what the trainer guy gives you in that room under the cabin. It's probably just nothing, but yeah, I think it's elemental fruit, that's it. And then the guy who asks you questions just gives you elemental fruit. I never got to show off all of the attacks from all the elementals. There's this one with deep blue where you can spray this liquid stuff that can get 
that that you can light it on fire and it'll explode. Neat idea. I hardly ever use it though. See what else? Who else did I need to level up? Oh yeah, the uh, rubble. Yeah. I'll show off all the attacks, all the skins, and all the extras. Eventually, I just need to unlock them. The extras, that is. First, we'll show off the skins, but that'll be after. I've uploaded all this. In a while. A while. Nineteen ninety seven to two thousand. Hmm. Guess the idea came out in ninety seven. Oh, more sequel bait. Yep. That was Cameo Elements of Power. Another great game that's forgotten by time. Left behind by its company. Hope you enjoyed. I sure did.